I found my passport. So, how are the cops, huh? Have they calmed down yet? And what did they write about me? I'm not gonna sit here. Not until somebody recognizes me. Yes, yes, I heard you. I'll open it now. Oh. Maxim, are you hiding from me? I've been calling you all day. I didn't hear it. I was in the shower. I won't stay for long. So would you like something to drink? Kefir? Yes, please. Sit down. I wanted to talk to you. Maxime, you've always been like a son to me. Even when you've been divorced, I still treated you like our own, like family. I'm begging you. Please return to Nika. Lydia Ivanovna, I haven't broken up with Veronica and I will do what I want. I'm thankful for everything, but please come back as a man until she gets up. Then you're free. I can't bear to watch her suffer. It hurts a lot to see her give up on one. Only you can get her on her feet. Lydia Ivanovna, I'll come up with something. Please believe me. Let me know if everything's okay. It doesn't hurt at all. You here for me? Yeah. So how are you feeling? Remember anything? Nothing. Boris Romanovich scheduled another session with me sometime this evening. He's a good doctor, but it's all in vain. Don't worry, the memory will return. You can go back to your ward. <laughs> Thanks, Oksana Petrovna. And thank you, nurse. Sonia. Is it true you're pregnant? I'm not sure what Platon thinks. I can only imagine. But before you make any decision, please consider this first. A child brings joy. I know, but... What are you afraid of? Difficulties? Condemnation? They come and go. They're beyond you. Believe me. I'm begging you. Don't do this. And I don't want to. <laughs> I knew you were a smart and brave girl. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I will help you. We will all help you. To the other end. It's due for repair. No, I don't want to drag broken wheelchairs. What are you going to do if we have to pick up a bedridden patient, huh? Carry her with your hands? That's the administration's Please, response. Help. He's in the car. Calm down. I was just crossing an intersection on a green light, but he... He was walking Calm in down. red light. A beautiful girl shouldn't cry over little things, all right? Whoa. Carefully. I guess he must have died on the spot. What did you say? Why didn't you say there was a homeless person in your car? And wasn't it written somewhere in the Hippocratic Oath about social stratification and the provision of medical care? You need to drink less. Stepan, wheelchair to the yard. Fast. 
Oksana Petrovna. Excuse me. They brought Glib. I'm coming. Cheer up. The patient after the accident. Numerous facial injuries. Probably a concussion. Run an X-ray and a computed tomography. Hmm. Are you also injured? No, no, I was in the car. He ran a red light and he hit the hood of my car. If he needs money, I'll pay for everything. That's not needed yet, but stay here just in case. Fine. Maxim Andreevich, the patient arrived after a road accident. Dimitri ran an X-ray and a tomography. Look at the analysis. Uh, since when are we on a first name basis? <laughs> it's spur of the moment. Hello, I Hello, everybody. Cranio cerebro. Um, slight concussion. Prepare for surgery. Operation. Mm -hmm. Maxime, I'd like to assist you. Maxim Andreevich will be assisted by our intern, Stefa. Why? What about the method of universality of doctors? Is it an optional thing, or is it me? No. I just appointed a more experienced intern for this operation. So is Stefa. <laughs> what kind of experience would an intern have? <laughs> Tell me. Is it because my dad is the head of the department? And you're afraid I will let you down if something goes wrong? Don't worry, I won't betray you. I'm not afraid. Okay. You'll be assisting with Stefa. Change clothes and prepare for surgery. Hello. I ran away for five minutes to see you. Mm -hmm. Don't. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So how do you feel? Mm -hmm. hmm? I'm fine. I don't think so. Tell me honestly. Are you worried about what decision I'll make? Yeah. I really wanted to talk to you, but I don't... I wasn't sure if you had the time. I have plenty of it. But remember this. You're a woman. And the last word is yours. Whatever it is, so be it. Are you s serious right now? When was I not serious? Please, stop suffering. You're worrying everyone in the department going around with a sad face. Just smile more often. <laughs> That's better. Anyway, I'm going to work. <laughs> Don't be sad now. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Maxim Andreevich, mm -hmm. shouldn't we be talking? And what did you want to talk about? Maybe you could talk about... What procedures you made during the operation? Real professionals don't need to see talk during an operation. But with trainees, professionals always comment on their work. For educational purposes. Okay, They're... girls, cut the bickering. We're still operating. Don't forget that. There's nothing to comment on here. In front of you is a victim of his own carelessness who got wedged under the wheels of a car. He survived with a slight startle. Not really that slight. He has tear wounds. According to the results of the examination, the injuries aren't serious and are survivable. So we'll sew the scars. They adore men. It'll be beautiful. Cut. Oh, the wounds are so deep. Can I do it, Maxim Andreevich? No need to. There's irritation here. It's not an irritation. It's a severe case of allergy with edema and shortness of breath. Mm. Have you consulted an allergist? Of course I did. But I can't find a normal specialist. All those I've been to can't even diagnose me. Itching? 
Doctor, I can't even explain how much. You see, Anatoly actually suffers from mysophobia. We examined even the smallest crumb under a microscope, but it's destroyed by chlorine. A jar of mayonnaise or sour cream was getting disinfected with ethanol. Please explain to her that all these vendors may not have washed their hands after the toilet and touched all these jars with their dirty hands. Fair enough. There you go. And by the way, my mother-in-law and dog arrived yesterday, and the itching started right Anatoly, away. Anatoly, I won't give the dog away. He saved his mother from depression after his father's death. Mom won't let him go. Then kill me so I don't have to suffer. Get dressed. The dog is a pile of dirt and dust, and his saliva is always dripping. In any case, I read online that allergies from animals can damage the organs. It'll cause anaphylactic shock. Just awful. Right? We'll give you an injection of dexamethasone and a sedative. Then we will do a general blood test and take an animal test for allergens. It's at least something. Do you believe me? Yes, of course. Allergies are not ruled out, but they could be the result of mysophobia. Although, the tests will confirm it. Of course. Laton, no. Take it away. I told you over and over again, I will not perform an abortion. And you don't have to. You just have to find some pathology in it, okay? Something out of the ordinary when pregnancy is contraindicated. There are a lot of diseases that disabled people are born with or die from. Edward Vitalovich. These women, you know only too well that they all have something to cling to, right? What's stopping you? Platon, Platon. <clears throat> Anatoly Karpenko? Yeah? This is your bed. Hold on, did you wash the floor and then immediately start making the bed? With dirty hands? My hands are like a surgeon's. They're clean. Yeah, right. I think I'm going to use a different bed. I'm going to do this bed on my own. And why just the bed? Huh? You may want to wash that first. What if they washed it with muddy hands? That's reasonable. Rima, please, bring me a clean set of linens, will you? But be sure to put it in a clean bag, okay? I would tolerate such a man only if he were a millionaire. And if you don't have money for servants in a private hospital, you will have to make do with our beds. Nobody asked you, all right? Oh. Rima, bring me a new bed. Right now, please. Oh, God. All right, the results are in. Given the results of your tests, I'm inclined to believe that you still have obsessive compulsive disorder. But don't worry, it is curable. Oh, it's not an allergy. No, no. Oh, thank God, at least one good news. Although I always knew it. Can I see you for a minute? Yes, of course. Sorry. Strange. Do you understand now that I was right? Of course. And I understand how difficult it was. But still, I will ask you to make some concessions for him. What, run for a set of underwear? I can't. I'm so fed up with it. It seems to me that soon some microbes will jump around me. Don't worry. Believe me, we will cure him. But without your participation, this is simply not possible. We, on our part, will gradually save him from his fears. And you need to stop criticizing him. Okay, I'll keep quiet. No, well, that's not enough. You must sympathize with him and share some of his views, at the very least. It is what it is. If he's really gone crazy... Just let it be. But take the dog somewhere for a while. That way he knows he's been... Heard by us. But he doesn't have the allergy. I understand. That every man, healthy or not, definitely needs a woman's attention and support. 
Not to mention he's your husband. Take the dog away and tell him that the dog will not return home until it is cured and the allergy is completely ruled out. Make him feel like a winner. All right. You can handle it. Mm. Bye. Diagnosis? All symptoms indicate intestinal infection. Diarrhea, dizziness, severe weakness. Platon, call Sonia. I told you I'm not infected. I'm simply just stressed. I was on a business trip. When Yana was at the gym, our apartment was robbed. That probably led to this illness. Blood and fecal masses need to be analyzed. Take her to the intensive care ward. Isn't this a hospital with some reliable doctors? You'll leave here healthier than ever. I doubt it. Can you see out the window? I can't find it. Don't worry about it. I'll go home now and... I'll ask mom to give the dog to her niece. Are you serious? Until we're 100% sure that there are no more allergies, there will be no dogs in the house. Thank you, darling. Don't forget to clean after the dog's gone, okay? Of course, don't worry. Maxim Andreevich, is homeless as contagious? He might infect the whole department. Don't worry. We disinfected him well. Really? You know they live in dumps and basements with rats. And some rabid dogs. You're putting a homeless man next to me? I don't want to be with him in the same area. Either take him somewhere else or transfer me to a second ward, will ya? I don't want to be with him in here. There's no need to shout, okay? Your doctor will come and talk to you shortly. I'm not shouting. It's not allowed for normal people to lie next to vagabonds, okay? This is a normal person. He's just under anesthesia. Don't shout, okay? Why is it so noisy here? What's with you? You're starting a fight? Look who's in here with me. Calm down. You're safe in this ward. We will actually carefully monitor the situation. And now, take a deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Now, in two minutes, a nurse will come for an examination, okay? Amazing case. I think I'll write a dissertation. Can I be treated better? What are these methods? Dropper, some injections, whatnot. We've done everything necessary and are now waiting for the results of the analysis. I'm telling you, I wasn't poisoned. Yana, don't be so nervous. They want to kill me, really. I honestly think I should sue these doctors. I wonder, on what basis? On the basis of complete incompetence and wasting my time. I'm telling you, I didn't go anywhere except the fitness club in my house, and I ate everything that my husband ate. And it's just a nervous breakdown due to theft. Yana, calm down. I'll call the police and they'll be the one to figure it out. And you'll be all right. Listen, Yurko, don't call anyone. I'm begging you, please. Why? Well, I... I'm afraid they might come back for revenge sometime soon. Right? The neighbor said that there's a whole gang of robbers in our area, and they're cold-blooded killers. Do you understand? Please try and understand. Promise you won't do that. It's Hello. you. How are you? What a pleasant surprise. Why have you brought so much? You didn't have to. So much? I will take care of you now. Did you think I would run away? Well, I'm here for you now. Nobody took care of you for a hundred years. You shouldn't waste your time. I will tell the policeman that I'm the one to blame for everything. I'm not here. Because of the police, 
I really want to help you. Isn't it unusual? When a young, healthy person finds himself in this situation. But am I not a homeless person? No one was born homeless. What happened? Well, I gave up. I just couldn't stay afloat. But I don't regret it one bit. I collected a bunch of books at the landfill, and now I'm reading. One can remain human in a parallel world. I can see that. But you can, you know, come back if you wish to? Oh, of course. It's not pleasant to live in a basement. What if I suddenly start to miss this life? You have no idea what it's like to be free. Free from thoughts, from society, from the news of the automotive industry, new gadgets. To not worry whether you have a new phone or a new piece of clothing or anything trendy. It's an incredible life. I think I understand why you were scared to come back. When I look at you, I can see that one can still remain human in this society. You probably don't care about this society. You didn't leave a homeless person on the street and instead treated me like a normal person. You're an incredible girl. You should have put that homeless person in the infectious disease section. What if he's contagious? Who told you he was contagious? This addict? They prick with one needle and drink from one glass. Halina Yurivna, I already examined him. Believe me, he's not a drug addict or an alcoholic. Mm. Nobody knows what happened to the man. Mm. Nevertheless, I will clean the ward and the corridor. You'll thank me later. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Meet the investigator, Bobkov Yuri Mikhailovich. He wants... I would like to ask you a few questions. I thought I said that we didn't need any help. This is your business, and it's my job to catch criminals. Today you, and tomorrow someone else. Then go catch them. But I didn't see the burglars. That's fine. Most likely, there are video cameras in your house. There are. We'll find them in two days. And if you're lucky, we'll return what was stolen. What was taken? Five thousand dollars. Whoa, quite an amount. Do you want to find it? When did this happen? On the 11th. I went on a business trip during this time. I'll find out everything today. Do you think they can still be caught? They can. We'll catch them in two days. No need to disclose anything. Why? Yana? <laughs> I took the money. How are you feeling? Oh, fine, thanks. Gleb Sergevich, we will have to report this incident to the police. Why am I to blame for everything? There was an accident, and we have no right to hide the information. If you have to, of course, you can tell the police. There's no need. I have no claims against Victoria. I got myself under the wheels of her car. It's none of my business, but I'm following the rules. I had to warn you. Yeah, it's okay, I'll come out and deal with it. <laughs> yes, I can only imagine how you deal with this, especially with such a big scar. With a scar? A big scar? It's hidden by the bandages. I think it's quite small. And what scared you so much? Nothing. I just didn't want to look like a highway robber. Mm. As they say. 
So you still care how you look in the society? Problem is you have a small scar. I talked to the doctor and he said you were perfectly healthy, like a bull. The only thing is you need to really eat well. And I... I bought some food from the store. I will bring homemade food later in the evening. Uh, I'm very impressed that such a girl like you would actually cook for me. I'm also meaning to ask, what is your specialty? Well, to help with work. Well, I, I did not graduate from the Institute. But I can fix some wiring or replace the faucet. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, let's do all that. You can fix my apartment if you want. Well, you can earn money to rent a room. No, I can't abuse your kindness. This is too much, really. No, this is not a handout. If you only knew how many breakdowns happen in a woman's apartment. Besides, I will... I'll cook you homemade food. Hmm? <clears throat> According to our agenda, the reception of visitors has already ended. Two more minutes. The sleeping hour has begun. I beg you, please give me more. I'm already leaving. I... I'll be back in the evening. Fine. Goodbye. See ya. Mm hmm Well, what's up with Yana Kolesnichenko? Test ready? Ready, Oksana Petrivna. What are you waiting for? Oh. Are we transferring her to infectious or psychiatric ward? Your patient has a tropical disease. What nerves? Tropical? She... she only visits the gym and the solarium. Well, you don't live with her under one roof. Yana Kolenchenko has amoebiasis. Where did she pick it up? Yana, I don't understand why you made this up, this fantastic story. I need that money for something. I can give you money. Why do you need them? I received the test results. She has a tropical disease. The disease can only be picked up in exotic countries. But... I didn't go anywhere. But I'm the one on a business trip to Mexico. Hmm, perhaps your wife went somewhere? Yeah? What's she talking about? Y yes Yes, I went there. So what? What? You're always on business trips. And your colleague, her, with her perfect body, why is she always coming with you? I couldn't stop thinking about it. I wanted to see if you were cheating on me. And did you catch me? That so-called slut. Well, she's my deputy, and she has to go on a business trip with me. There was absolutely nothing between us. Although you probably know that by now. You've been to Mexico. You're cool. What's unfortunate is that because of your lies, we lost so much time. Your amoebiasis is in an advanced state and is much harder to treat. I prescribed your treatment and in 10 minutes, a nurse will come and give you a drip. Tanya, what's going on? What's going on? Help yourself. I... Oh, my chemicals. They were all stolen. They were taken. We should call the police. The police aren't needed. Uh, I will send you a new batch tomorrow, okay? Uh, but what am I going to do today? At least give me a jar of alcohol. I'll wipe the door handles and taps. What alcohol do you mean? Tanya, the patients in the second ward are both sick at once. I called Maxim Chilyovich. I'll get Boris Romanovich. And what should I do? Uh, 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 uh,
Are you all right? The stitches could have been undone due to coughing. It badly stinks here. I can smell the chlorine. Oh, you stole my chemistry kit. You filled the ward with chlorine? What was I to do? I could have just lied quietly next to this dirty and homeless person. Ah, just transfer me to another ward, doctor. Boria, I beg you, transfer him somewhere. He will strangle us all here. Fine. Galina Yurivna, prepare the first ward for the patient. <coughs> my child. Why are you so pale? I'm fine. What's with all the water? Have you been drinking a lot? Yeah, I was thirsty. <sighs> Sonia, take the wheelchair and Gleb to the operating room. Oh, what beautiful stitches. Oh no, damn it. Just what I was missing. She collapsed on the floor. What happened? Can you imagine, Oksana Petrovna? She survived the whole operation, but when she saw the blood in the ward, she collapsed. That's how cunning she is. She wanted to be carried, and men only need this. <laughs> and if a woman is a man to herself, why should she have another one? Huh? Right? Okay. I'll go. The crazy one is still there. Now you won't be bored. A new neighbor's coming. Perfect. There's just no one I can talk to now. Ugh. Oh, this one won't allow you to get bored. Hysterical man. He was placed with a homeless man in the same ward, so he poisoned himself with chlorine. Very afraid of germs. No, I don't want to be neighbors with a psycho. Can't the homeless man come to me? If it were up to me, I would bring Marilyn Monroe to you. I just follow the instructions here. Take it. I can't eat anymore. I'm full. Mm. <sighs> Mariana, Mariana, Mariana. Sonia, ammonia solution. Mariana, can you hear me? No need. Hey. Did you carry me in your arms? On a wheelchair. How do you feel? Normal. But my heart is beating so fast. Give me your hand. You feel it? <clears throat> Everything's fine with your heart. But I will not recommend you for surgery yet. Well, I gotta go. I have patients to attend to. Rest. Good afternoon. Let's get acquainted. My name is Anatoly. And you? I don't know. I have retrograde amnesia. Of course. And what about your face? Well, I don't remember that. But good afternoon. Good afternoon. And oh, it happens. Uh, the nurse came in and asked that whoever settled here should go immediately to her nursing station for an examination. Apparently it's you. Did she tell you why? No, she didn't. But don't worry, you can leave your things here. I'll be right here. Hello? It's me. Who, me? Surin! Good evening. I came. What are you here for? A neighbor in the ward reported that I was called here. I didn't call you. He must have been confused or something. Unbelievable. Well, okay, sorry. Listen, I'm in the 13th waiting room. Understand? Um, what's up? Is it quiet? Okay. Come to me in the evening and, uh, 
Bring me some clothes and... and a ship. Leave everything in the courtyard. Under the dumpster. Do you know what I'm talking about? There is only one there. Understand? There's only one dumpster! Okay. Goodbye, then. I hope the adventures will come to an end now, so I won't have to sew you a third time. Doctor, tell me, will the big scar remain on my face? The big scar will remain on your face. It won't be noticeable over time. The main thing is to treat it in time so that there's no infection. And in about a week, I'll remove your stitches. How are you? I was told they were doing a second operation. Don't worry, everything is fine. When I'm gone, as if you're overlooked? Yeah, you're right. Overlooked. Um, as for the police, Ugh. I haven't called them yet, but I advise you to go tomorrow. It'd be better to tell them everything. Mm, I will. And I brought some home-cooked food. Look. Here is a borscht, potatoes, fish. Look at you now. How did I not immediately recognize you? Listen here, Maxim Andriyevich, there's something interesting here. The young, imposing, and undoubtedly talented actor Gleb Sarmatov disappeared from the eyes of the press. As he himself stated on his page on one of the social networks, I'm going under. He's an actor. The theatrical actor Gleb Sarmatov. Yes, Maxim Andreevich, I go to the theater. I haven't been to the theater in a long time, but the show's here. Delivered directly from work. Mm -hmm. Bravo. You have to go, Ina. See you soon, in theater. You're cool. You're back. Yana, I have a question for you. Do you realize that you got sick in Mexico, but hit it so I wouldn't know? Forgive me, please. I just love you so much. But because of all of this jealousy... Yana, you do understand that you could have killed not only our relationship, but also yourself. Let's forget everything. And Ashka, only on one condition. That you do not let your jealousy get the best of you again. I'll try. But I'm certain I'll definitely not follow you to Mexico again. What a fool you are. Oh, were you transferred to another war? Yeah. By the way, how's mom? Did she agree to give the dog away? Yes, she did. Oh. I've already taken it to her niece. Thank you, Rimoshka, for understanding. <laughs> Andrei Vasilievich, could you show me your rash again? Excuse me. Tomorrow your blood sugar will be taken. Mm -hmm. But why? Given your thirst, polyura, dry skin and rashes, we suspect that you have diabetes. Mm -hmm. What? The diabetes? Toll, don't worry. It's not deadly. M my aunt also had diabetes and she's fine. She lived for 93 years. Yeah. Only the last stage is problematic yes. and diet. You can do more walks, fresh air, anything. Mm -hmm. No stress. Remember, working muscles actively process sugar, okay? Now, because of this, the level will decrease. Excuse me. Oh, come here, come here. It's okay. Try not to worry. You can walk the dog mornings and evenings.
Marina, hello. Are you still at work? I need to talk to you. Are you available now? Will you go to the yard? I'll meet you there. Yes, Lydia, I'm listening. Maxime, it's me. She's very ill. She's going hysterical. Please come here, I beg you. All right, all right. I'm coming. Bigger, I'll explain everything to you now. I have to play a beggar in the play at the bottom. Look, he cast me for that role. I just wanted to tell you. It was important for me. I needed to understand the essence of a person who was thrown out. After all, a beggar is not only about his clothes. A beggar also has the personality of a... Uh, has a soul. Well, you did it. Your only giveaway was when you began to worry about this car of yours. And yes, I commend you for being a brilliant artist. Victoria, please wait. I'm sorry I did this. I wanted to tell you everything. No, everything's clear. Don't go. I... I... I really need you. Listen, Lib, my whole life has been one drama. Now, it's a joke. This is too much for one person. More so for me. Give it a chance. Let's try to learn more about each other. Let's make an effort to meet again. I promise, I'll fix all the taps in your house. But if at least one tap leaks... <laughs> I found my passport. So, how are the cops, huh? Have they calmed down yet? And what did they write about me? I'm not gonna sit here. Not until somebody recognizes me. Oksana. Oksana Petrivna. Who are you calling? Give me the phone. <coughs> Give me the phone. What are you doing? <coughs> Give me the phone. Uh, what are you doing? Get your hands off her, you maggot! Uh, Let get go away of her. from him! Uh, uh, what are you? Uh, get off! Max! 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 Uh, I need some help out here! Uh, please, somebody help us! I'm fine. 